I believe I have found our weekly vegan lunatic after just 10 seconds of watching this video. So let's jump right in. Let food be thy medicine and medicine be thy food. I mean, to be fair, Hippocrates was bald and losing his hair. So maybe he didn't know everything about health and nutrition. <laughs> In this video, I'm going to be sharing the food choices that I've made in my life and they do keep me very healthy and vibrant. The apps that I have are not a result of... Better uh, better not let Hitomi see the nose ring and abs. Maybe uh, she'll add another <laughs> stinky girl to the household. <laughs> on a serious note, abs on a biological woman are incredibly rare. Yeah, I mean, I have seen a few, but... The body fat level in comparison to a man is typically unachievable as a woman is meant to carry to, you know, herself and her child and stores ample fat for two people. Result of any regular exercise. There are times when I've included exercise routines, but I have not been able to follow them for a long, long period of time. So I would credit my abs completely to the food that I eat, which is a lot of raw to starving yourself. Food. It's just the physical activity that I include in my day-to-day -day routine. I make sure that my lifestyle is such that I'm walking a lot and I'm doing activities that strengthen my body. Oh, I would be. <laughs> I'm most. I'm telling you, man. All these vegans are cute, cuddly animal lovers. Oink, oink. And half of them dress up as furries and play with the animals. Mostly eat raw food. A very small part of my diet is cooked food, and I think raw living foods are just freaking amazing. They bring the bio photon, God. the prana that we need to stay connected and vibrant. Mm, so you know, no, I, I, what what country are these people? And I think I saw this guy uh, when I was driving through uh, Brooklyn last week. He was he was on the side of the street asking me for money out of my car. <laughs> and also the nutrition that we need for our bodies to be functioning and this must be upstate new york if he's there in a very healthy manner at the end of this video i'm going to be sharing the resources that i used to come to the choices that i've come to there's sattvic movement there's john rose there's so much more <laughs> is she trying to play the music louder than her voice so people don't pay attention to what she's saying Coming to my food choices, I start eating at around 1 in the afternoon. So I give my body a break of 14 to 16 hours. Imagine if a guy did that, like, just dancing with metal. <laughs> is amazing because then we give time to our bodies to heal and it's not just involved in digesting the food all the time. And all the energy that is left from not digesting the food can go to the healing work. My first meal is a mono fruit meal of watermelon. Most of the days, I truly love watermelons. They're so freaking juicy. <laughs> it's funny that she's calling it like a mono food meal. Like it's something technically, you're eating watermelon. It's like a kid that wanted watermelon for breakfast. Literally like a child. See, they help to detoxify our body of all the waste. It, they help the organs to function better. And they are very good for the skin. If you're going out in the sun a lot, it maintains your skin and protects it. I also juice it sometimes. So in the morning, sometimes before having my first meal, I take juices one hour before. These juices are mostly fruit juices. Coconut uh, water is very good as well. <laughs> Does she have like an army of cuck simps harvesting fruit for her? This is the, you know, face value conventional wisdom health advice. Oh yeah, the watermelon's so good for your skin. It's great for your liver. It's great for detox. Yeah, explain it. You know, I have almost a thousand YouTube videos where in each one, I go in depth on science and nutrition on one thing or another, even as far as to explain the specific enzyme metabolic pathways instead of just saying oh yeah uh, beef liver is great for energy levels or you know goat testicles are going to make you run through a wall there might be some truth to that but if i didn't back it up with thorough explanation well ash gourd juice is also very good so something very light and watermelon is amazing as well um, it just rehydrates my body so much and i love the feeling of water in my body 
the second meal that I take is after two <laughs> three hours when I start feeling hungry again. So that is a less watery fruit. So it could be pineapple, papaya, sapota, bananas, guavas, and as I said, every guava freaking tastes different. So it gives honestly like. I try to give people like a background and understanding of, of myself on my YouTube channel so they know, you know, what my knowledge level is, what I've experienced personally. These vegans never do that because if they did, it'd be like, oh yeah, so I had a friend and she told me a vegan diet was great. Uh, so I moved to the jungle and started making YouTube videos about how great fruit is two months later. A lot of like, you know, variety even in one fruit. So I also make sure that I eat a lot of variety of fruits. So the fruits are different during the week and also in the month, you know, I'm eating so many different varieties of fruits. And along with that, my last meal is full of variety. So it could be a salad. The ingredients of the salad. This is Freely 2.0. Seeds, a lot of greens, a lot of vegetables, one citrus fruit and salt. And I make sure that I get my fat that I need from the nuts, mostly like coconut, almonds, uh, other nuts. I also eat dry fruits. So last meal is a lot of variety and a mix. Sometimes it's a salad. This is just weird, isn't it? Like she's out there with a bunch of dudes. You know, it looks like they're working on a sawmill in a third world country. Sometimes I also eat cooked food which is made of whole grains and a lot of different vegetables and no oil. I don't consume oil. So I'm not like somebody who's just like, you know, okay, say no to everything. I do, you know, if someone offers me sometimes in the evening to try a different food, I try it. So for example, my friend Sati, she got this meal, so I had it uh, just a little bit. I eat very little well, bit. Well, this is I'm India, right? Healthy foods like oil. So sugar, they have those lunch containers. Or white rice. Um, but I'm not like strictly going, oh. I'm just this is like a raw vegan person or I'm a you know somebody who's not consuming any oil because it's just fun sometimes but please 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 listen to this that I consume that part very very less it's like two percent of my food even in terms of calories and quantity as well every time I eat the salad I feel the nutrition in my brain in my body greens are the freaking healthiest food on the planet and it's so important to include them if you can't include them you can make a shake which is the easiest way to include greens in the food so what you do is you put a very sweet fruit like banana chiku and then put like greens in it you will see the color will become green but there will be really mild taste of the greens with the fruits or sometimes even no taste and it's so delicious I also sometimes make raw vegan desserts and cakes, mixing bananas and dry fruits and nuts, and it's like really delicious. With Anything mainstream, especially veganism, is just face value, take things for granted, don't do any research yourself. Because something as simple as vegetables being good for you quickly falls apart when you look at the nutrient profile of those foods and what the body actually needs mint and i'm probably going to be sharing those recipes in my oh i can't videos. wait young lady the energy that i get after eating fruits is really amazing it's I, my body feels so light and i can just like you know chill around the day with so much carbohydrates that gets in my body i also think that um since it's easy to digest and the energy is so <laughs> these vegans talk about how good they feel and all they do is sit around all day eating with the occasional cheating on their dietary restrictions so much is just the perfect balance that i get after eating fruits it also helps me produce a lot of happiness hormones i don't know how it works but every time i eat a pineapple or a banana these two fruits i just start feeling good and the body's light it digests so fast so there's no sluggishness laziness that i feel all body could it be the sugar rushing to your brain and liver Body types are different and they require different kind of nutrition and as I said I'm not a nutritionist but I highly recommend raw and vegan food I think it gives us the life force that we need and it just works amazing wonders for my body and also the friends that I have who follow this diet I think it heals a lot of ailments automatically just with the food honestly if I could go back in time before I had so many work obligations I should I should have like vlogged uh, a vegan year of nonsense and just like experienced it myself just like a bunch of sweaty vegan girls and boys all day
that why, that we eat and it's just amazing to be in the state where you can be you know tension free stress free about anything that is happening to your body because you know that you're putting good things and your environment matters a lot as well so choose fresh air for yourself do things which bring fresh air and fresh food on the planet maybe grow your food as well since i'm following such a clean speaking of grow your food look in the background of where she is what could you eat there's no fruits growing there's no vegetables growing there's no grains growing hopefully you can run in the woods and find a rabbit and then maybe uh you could have them as your pet and you both can starve to death diet whenever i eat something which is very processed or has a lot of oil and sugar i can feel the difference in the functioning of my body so so why do you eat it every day that keeps me away from it and like you know i i just like eat a little bit very she's very wolfing very, it down you know just to feel that you know i'm not restricting myself too much and it's it's also being fluid and in the flow how we eliminate is so freaking important i observe my elimination process how easy is it how does it look my poop <laughs> sometimes that as well because i think that's where we can see that what is it that's going out so i can sometimes see layers of the food that i eat and that means that i'm shitting out everything that i'm eating the day before so keeping your body clean so she dropped a hard ass that you take the food that you take can be absorbed in your body is very important did we do a vegan doo doo fetish video yet i wonder how well that will be received and drinking a lot of juices and hydrated foods is just the most amazing way to re rehydrate your body. Fruits and greens are one of the best way to keep your body rehydrated and your cells re-energized. She just have a <laughs> short circuit in her brain on the vegan diet. Oh God. How many people get sucked into this vegan nonsense? How is it possible? It, 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 I'm under the assumption that, I mean, either low IQ or it's all just staged nonsense and, and trying to keep people in this vegan cult of BS uh, before they force everyone to go vegan because, oh, the cows got sick. We can't eat their meat. Uh, so thank you guys for joining me today. Hopefully you enjoy this. I mean, I mean, there's not really that much to talk about. She basically said, you know, she eats pineapples and watermelons and then her, her friend brings her some meal that's probably keeping her alive because they sneak some eggs or dairy in there. Look, these evil psychos in control have done their job. They've brainwashed people that fruits and vegetables are good for you. Whole grains are good for you. Meat is bad. It's bad for the environment for dozens and dozens and dozens of years. So when someone comes to you and says, oh, this vegan diet is so great, it's it's what the government wants you to do, it's what everyone wants you to do, it's what the planet wants you to do, it's pretty easy for people to get sucked in and then there isn't enough contrary evidence to bring them back out until they're on death's door. Uh, so thanks again for joining me today, guys. If you could drop a like on the video, leave a comment down below, subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you next week. And check out frank com for Frankie's Free Range Meat, Organ Supplements, Frankie's Free Range Foods, Frankie's Naturals, the one too many businesses I have. Mm -hmm.